Hi there Audi owners. Today on your 2017 Audi Q3, we're going to be test fitting Thule's Hitching Post Pro 4 bike rack. This bike rack is a compact hanging style 4 bike rack that is going to work with both men's, women and children's bikes. However, with some of your children and women's bikes, an adapter may be required, but you can get that here at eTrailer. Now you do want to keep in mind that this rack holds your bikes by the frame here and they just hang down below. There is an anti-rattle down there as well to keep your bikes from clinking into one another. And this is great for most style of bikes, however if your bike is made of carbon fiber, I would recommend a platform style rack that holds your bike by the wheels rather than the frame as carbon fiber can be damaged due to vibrations and road forces when going down the road if it's supported and held by the frame. Speaking of our cradles, if we take our straps off we can get a closer look. We can see here that we've got nice grooves in the channels of our cradles, that's going to be for our brake cables that go to both the front and rear wheels there so you have channels for all of that. The strap has plenty of different sizes in there so that way it'll accommodate various frame thicknesses that you may have. And here we can get a closer look at the anti-rattle. This is also this also has a cup with some grooves in it to accommodate for any wires that might be down there as well. And this grabs the bike to help prevent any swaying back and forth. There's still going to be a little bit of sway as you can see here but it does minimize it enough to where you're not going to have bikes just clinging and clanging into each other down here. Now that you got to the trail, you need to use your bike. Go ahead and pull your straps off. Don't forget about the cradle here at the bottom. And then your bike lifts off. And this is one of the things that I like best about this rack. Compared to platform racks and a lot of those that have a lot of arms and stuff that you have to kind of work around and you get your bike real close to the back of your vehicle, this just slides straight off the back. It's way quicker and easier. And we're now just ready to go for a ride. Now with our bike out of the way, we're going to take a few measurements here so you can see how much our rack is going to extend the length of our vehicle. From our bumper to the furthest point here at the back, we're looking at right around 38 additional inches. And our ground clearance here to the closest point at the back is going to be about 8 inches to the ground. And from the bumper to that point at our lowest point there is about 11 inches. Our closest point to our bumper is going to be here at about three inches. And now we mentioned that this was a compact bike rack. It sure seems awfully long, but if we pull out this pin here, go ahead and release the clip and then pull the pin. This whole end here where our bikes were can extend it downward and we can re-secure it with the pin once it's down. And we've now drastically reduced the size of our bike rack. This is great if you're going to leave it on your vehicle so it doesn't stick out too far. There's a good chance that you'll probably still be able to pull your vehicle in the garage with this on the back. And if you don't want to store it on the back of your vehicle, this minimizes the amount of space it would take up in your garage. You could easily store this up on a hanger on the wall, up on the ceiling somewhere, and keep it out of the way. With our rack in the storage position, our new furthest point here is about where our cradles are at about 15 inches. So that's a significant reduction in length. That's going to make it also a lot easier to maneuver around parking lots and into various spaces in those tighter areas when you're not hauling any bikes with you. The bike rack will secure to the hitch using the included anti-rattle bolt. That's going to ensure it stays tight in our receiver here. You can see there's no rattling around. That's going to ensure that a lot of those road vibrations that we're transferring to our bikes here just rattle them all around. We're going to minimize and reduce most of that to nothing here by keeping it nice and tight. You can see here we've got it installed in a one and a quarter inch receiver right now but also included with your rack you are going to get a sleeve so that way you can slide this on here and then install it in a two inch receiver as well. That's really nice if you've got another vehicle uh, around the house. Maybe you got a truck with a two inch receiver and you've got the back full of a lot of gear you're bringing with you but you want to bring your bikes too. And with your bikes removed, you can also tilt this away so we can access the back of the vehicle. Because right now, if I were to try to open this lift gate, we'd contact our rack. The pin located down here at the bottom, we're going to remove that one just like we did to put this in the storage position. And then our rack can tilt away. Now without having to even remove the rack from the vehicle, we can tilt it away. You can see how close it is here. That's why the bikes do have to be off. But we've got plenty of clearance now to go into the trunk, get whatever we need out of here, grab some water bottles or whatever gear. We can easily access all of that, close up, put our bike rack back into its position and reinsert the pin, and then we can hit the trail.
Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. And that completes our test fit of Thule's Hitching Post Pro for bike rack on our 2017 Audi Q3.